All right, guys, so it wasn't so easy to do this. Um, it wasn't so bad. Um, I'll link a link in the description on which lights I bought. I bought them from Amazon, and then I had to buy some uh, the license plate hardware kit from AutoZone, which that's what I used to mount it down. I'll show you why in a sec. It was kind of difficult for me to get one of the lights in. The other one was pretty simple, but for some reason, one of the bolts wasn't working, and then the nut got stuck on it, and I had to cut it off, get a new bolt, and it was a pain. So, um... I'm just going to try to explain this to you. So if you do buy this kit, you avoid doing what I did. All right, so let's get into it. All right, guys, so basically with this kit, you get a couple of things. You're gonna get, of course, the two lights. Um, and then it does come with its own fastener, which let me pull up this one, because this one's a lot easier. Um, I do have my motors unplugged. That's why I'm able to run and down my light. Your motor uh, plug is right here. You'll see it plugged in, it comes to the light. Um, so you definitely do need to unplug that. If not, these lights will not go up like this. Like I'm doing right now. Now, so the light comes, comes with this, comes with the, the connecting, um, the, the wire comes with it already plugged in. What I did was I just cut my original light off and I literally just soldered it on. Um, as you can see, you can see down here, I have a bunch of washers and it does come with this piece, which kind of mounts around the back of the light. Right, um, right back here. Uh, let me get a light for you guys. So it mounts to the back of the light, it goes around the back, and then there's a bolt that's that's sticking out on the back of the lamp on the bottom that usually you just tighten up with with uh, I think it's a 13 millimeter? 11 millimeter, sorry. And then it, it um because of the the way the housing works for the bolt, because the bolt moves back and forth. Uh, it's supposed to clamp the bolt on the two ends but what I was having trouble with was on this one the bolt uh, actually stripped off the piece of the headlight the, of the of the LED so I had to literally take an angle grinder cut the piece where the bolt goes in take out the old bolt and then put in a new one so on this one I have basically a license plate fastener and it holds it pretty down. Um, I was having trouble with um, with getting it aligned well, so I put some of this this silicone thing that I have, and it goes around the top, um, and it holds it in perfectly, so it keeps the light straight and not angled in any way. Um, and then with the pressure of this, it's holding it down, so it won't move. Uh, this one was a little easier. This one, for some reason. Um, I cut it here. Yeah, my cuts don't look the best. I wish they did look better. But um cut it and it fits right over this. So then you can use this uh for your factory headlight. Um with this kit you don't have high beams. So if I turn on my high beams, these turn off. Uh these are just for a low beam setting, which if you want it for the low beam setting, you have to tie it in. You have three cables, oh, they're back there. So you have three cables coming from your regular, your regular plug. There's gonna be a black cable, a red and white, and a red and black. You're going to tie it to the red and black. The red and white is your headlight, and the black is your ground. I think I have the old, my old headlights here. So you have your, your three cables. So basically, the only ones you are using are your red and black, which is this red and black, and this black, these two. This one you just um, kind of top off. And I cut it, you don't have to. You can literally just crimp it to one of these. Um, that way you don't have to go back, you can, um, 
you can go back to your original headlights. And those headlights were pretty easy to take off. It was just one bolt on the side, one bolt on the bottom, and then a spring, which the headlight kind of just comes off. If you want to do this and make it reversible, because I know in some states it's it's um, kind of illegal to have these. Um, and I don't think it's legal in my state either way. Either way but um, I still have them anyways. Uh, you know, there's always ways to get around things. But um, basically, if you want to have this reversible, I would suggest not cutting this and just running the light without this. You can run the light without this. The only thing, this won't be covered up. So when you do close the hood, you will see that part open um as when i measured this i used my fingers i have two and then and then two but um yeah i mean it works really well and it looks really bright at night i really like the way it looks i think next thing what i'm going to do i might try to bend this down a little bit to make it look like an angry eye um i see a lot of people doing that it looks pretty cool um but yeah i mean um oh and also there's usually there might be like a rubber piece right here you take that off and then you'll have this hole but this hole will be really small there um so you just basically just drill it out make it bigger and then put the bolt through get the nut on the other side tighten it up what i did was i i tapped mine so i drilled this to the same size as the bolt and then I had a tap and die set, so I just tapped that, that bolt and then I just ran it through with my with my wrenches and then it just, it's tightened up to the frame. I still have a bolt on the other side just for safety. Um, and it has like about, I think I put five, yep, five washers on it. And it got it to this height. Um, if you wanna use more, that's up to you. You might have to run a longer bolt though. The bolt for the bracket is different from the bolt that bolts onto the light. So this is a bracket that could just goes on, and then there's a bracket for the light. So when you see the kit, you'll see in the pictures, it has uh, the two different bolts for that and to be able to run that. Um, it does angle, which that's why I like this bracket. I can angle it forward, down, and back. So right now I kind of have my lights angling down since my car is running really low. I, my lights don't blind anybody because they're kind of low. Uh, they, you still see them from a distance and they still blind you, but um, uh, it's not too bad. I haven't gotten anybody having me, high beaming me back or any problems. But, um, but yeah, I mean, and then pretty much the tools you're gonna need are, you're gonna need a, um, a drill set. You're gonna need a drill, of course. You're gonna need some washers. Um, the kit already comes with the bolts and all the hardware you need so um, And then you'll need the different sizes Take a 14 and an 11. That's what it was. Yeah 14 and 11 those two only um, but, um, but Yeah, that's pretty much it. I said I really suggest uh, running these for Miata users unless you want to run the original lights um, or just get some reflector I know the Jeep lights fit on this because uh, it's a seven inch, seven inch diameter. Um, so you can run the same lights as a Jeep Wrangler and stuff like that. Um, but I like this better. So um, makes the car look kind of sleepy, which is kind of cool. But yeah, other than that, my eBay exhaust is still holding up. Haven't had a problem with it. I do have some rubbing on the bottom, rubbing issues for the exhaust. So I have to kind of fix that um, and yeah. I'm going to be cleaning this engine bay pretty soon and I'm going to try to get it up. Um, I don't really want to spend money on this motor. I do have uh, my pulley down there is, my crankshaft pulley is wobbly. So I do need to change that. I get a lot of noise from that. But um, other than that, I'm pretty much going to leave this engine the way it is because I want to get the 1.8, put it in here and have that whole drivetrain. But yeah, um, I might be cleaning some of this wiring up. Maybe I'll do a wire tuck video. If you guys give me some likes, I'll do a wire tuck video. Um, never done one before, but hey, it's a learning process. We'll do it together. All right, man. So thank you so much. Like, subscribe, comment, 
whatever you want, whatever you want to see, let me know. I'll try my best to get it through and keep going. Thank you.